Good morning, everybody. Enter the stars. And every four years, presidential elections fall on a different day. Usually in November, usually the beginning of November, actually. And election 2016, when Trump was elected, fell on Dunce Day, November 8th. Now, this is significant, and we're going to get into why all that is during the show this morning. So how did we arrive at this discovery, and what does it mean? And how is it that the dunce cap in iPet Goat 2 was able to forecast the Trump presidency? You see, there's actually three presidents depicted in iPet Goat 2, not just Bush and Obama. And I'm going to prove it to you this morning. There are never just two when it comes to the elite and the occult. There are always three. Let's begin. Now, this all started about three months ago. We did a video in which we showed you that the D on this dunce cap probably stands for Donald. You'll notice the serpentine hands here with the dollar sign as the actual ring. And why is that significant? Well, we all know that Donald Trump is the richest president to ever grace the office by far. I think he actually doubled or tripled the second place president in terms of wealth. That's significant and noteworthy because these puppet strings of the devil have the money symbol on them. That gives us our first clue as to this image in iPad Go To depicting Trump. Now, the left loves to de depict Trump as the dunce president. They always have and they always will. And we're not here to play sides because we don't do this on this channel. We're not on the left and we're not on the right. But we need to take note of the phenomenon that's happening, that's being played out before our eyes to reinforce the right-left paradigm. Now here you see what appears to be Bush with the dunce cap on. But look at his face. He has the Donald Trump scowl. Now remember, election day fell on dunce day, November 8th. So, even though Bush and Obama are depicted in I Go To, it was foreshadowing the next president whose election would fall on Dunce Day. I mean, that's pretty much a slam dunk in my eyes. So there's the Trump scowl. We've seen it a hundred times before. Sarcastic sm uh, scowl, and I'm not bagging on him about the scowl. Don't get it twisted. I'm just simply noting that this is what we're observing here. So then we see Bush under these red puppet strings. This red, everything's red, right? Now, we also tied in Omega Man, which is a film played by Charlton Heston. Now, why did we do that? Because Charlton Heston, in my eyes, depicted Trump in the dunce camp. Let's look at this. This is crazy. This is the decode we did on Omega Man. And he too is put in with a dunce cap on his head. When I watched Omega Man, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It tied right in to iPad Goat too with the dunce cap. Watch. Killed me, and then he died very badly himself. Badly himself. Badly himself. Our first clue is the use of the word "badly," which nobody uses the word that way except for Trump and Charlton Heston. Very badly, John. I will say. Badly himself. Very badly, John. I will say. Very badly, John. I will say. Hi, big brother. How's your ass? 
Coffee. And took the power to him, brother, just a little nitro. And took the power to him, brother, just a little nitro. Hours ago, we did a decode on nitrous oxide used as a defense mechanism in birds in a study that the normal immune reaction from a chicken was nitrous oxide to kill the kahuna virus. Took the power to him, brother, just a little nitro. Trip to the Laughing Academy. Now, these are clips from Omega Man, as you just saw from 1971. And pretty soon here, you're going to see him in a dunce cap. And again, Omega Man was the basis for the virus film I Am Legend, in which Will Smith, who plays the last scientist on Earth, offers his own convalescent plasma or his own blood as a cure to heal 58 million zombies that were left after a spamdemic wiped out humanity. And the same exact storyline plays out in Omega Man. Charlton Heston is a scientist. He offers his convalescent plasma to save the zombies. In other words, choosing the blood of a man over the healing blood of Christ through faith. Does this all start to sound familiar to you? Trump, right now as we speak, is encouraging blood drives. He's encouraging people to give their blood as a cure for CV-19. Let's keep going with this because I saw a lot of similarities between Omega Man and Trump. As well as, of course, I Am Legend and Trump. Let's keep watching. Tempted to say it's behaving like a biological virus, a disease. Toss him on there! Well, we gotta burn him! We gotta burn him all! Now, of course, this is from a, a series that came out that was set in New Rochelle, which just so happened to be the very first place where the containment zone was set up in New York. Trump worked with Cuomo, and he even said that on camera, to establish the very first containment zone. The National Guard were there. This was the prerequisite. This was the trial run for the rest of the lockdown. It started here. We drove through there. We filmed it. And all of the shills came out attacking us, running cover. For what they probably knew was about to happen. Let's keep going. Now, this book burning that occurs is, of course, a nod to Fahrenheit 451. And it's happening right now. As the fact checkers rewrite history and burn all of the books. Burn the history. And the backdrop is a virus. Unbelievable. Now, can't you leave me alone? Please. Oh, Lord, burn it all! We gotta burn them! We gotta burn them all! One creature. And so, of course, you just saw the mirroring from the episode of that show that I just showed you and it had the same theme of burning the books uh, 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 in front of the backdrop of the towers why why the towers because it's another 19 you guys the anniversary is coming up we're going to do a full blown google earth decode on that fateful day and you will be blown away because all of lower manhattan is aligned to 119 degrees every single street you get the ruler out in google earth 119 degrees which of course is an another number backwards in reverse 
So we see this 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 virus with the book burning. Of course, the two events were 19 years apart, the towers and CV-19. Caught. Caught in a place he cannot stir from in the dark, alone. We gotta burn them. We gotta burn them all. And look what's in the background. This was in 2000. With our devotion. Burn them. We gotta burn them all. And then they show the, the, them on fire there. It's clear as day a year before what happened, and that's from the TV series Now and Again. We shall cleanse the world with our devotion. We shall cleanse the world. We gotta burn them, we gotta burn them all! You can't make this up. With fire, my brothers, we have purified all that live with our zeal, and we shall continue with our work. I never will come down, down to the family and to judgment, down to punishment. Are you fellas really with the Internal Revenue Service? The Neville character, which of course Robert Neville is in I Am Legend, and the original in Omega Man, his name is Neville as well, is code for devil. Using his blood and making all of us get injected with his blood. Your little jokes are meaningless, Mr. Neville. We always see the helicopter crash. It was in Escape from L.A. Here you see it again. Black helicopters crash. And you gotta be kidding me. There he goes. You heard him. You can read what's on your screen. Unbelievable. With our devotion, we shall cleanse the world. I never will come down. Nothing to live for but his memories. Nothing to live with but his gadgets, his cars, his guns, gimmicks. With fire, my brothers, we have purified all that lives with our zeal, and we shall continue with our work. What you can understand is that the metaphor of books is actually people. And they even have a cashless society. It's happening now. It's happened. So this, obviously, this decode was back in March 21st, 2020. I uploaded this and we were trying to warn you guys. And sure enough, there are no coins left anywhere. And they're not allowing cash in many stores. It's not conspiracy anymore. It's not conspiracy anymore. It's happening as we speak. Let's continue on with this. Happening right now. Why are books people, Casey? That's ridiculous. Books are people because we come from the tree of life. Books are made from trees. And a book encapsulates the entire history of a subject, which is you. You are the subject. You are a book. And you come from the ring of the tree rings into a square, a book. You're locked in the cube. You're contained in a book. Keep Whether a state of war between China and Russia still exists is not important any longer. Is it Sunday? Sunday I always dress for dinner. Our fellow countrymen are dying. The very foundations of civilization are beginning to crumble. Martial law is now nationwide. Major cities in all parts of the country, New York, Los Angeles, report plague victims falling dead in the streets. Already hospital facilities have begun to crack under the strain. And civil defense authorities state that the situation is much the same across the entire country. In their homes, at their work, 
The first symptom appears to be severe choking, followed by immediate unconsciousness. Death occurs within minutes. Stay in your homes. Those found without specific military orders are subject to summary execution. Under the dread assault of that horror, long feared germ warfare. All civilian traffic is barred from streets and highways. All civilian traffic is barred from streets and highways. Stay in your homes. Stay in your homes. Repeat, Conrad Channel. This is a... Stay in your homes. We uploaded this on March 21st. Class one emergency. Now the question is survival. <laughs> Overrun hospitals. This is what they want you to believe. This is all programming before all this would happen or before they wanted us to believe that it was happening. They want the fear factor up to the highest levels. This is part of the program. Uh, here is the instrument of cleansing, my brethren. And nothing quite cleansing. And that right there is the trident from the wreckage of the WTC. This is like fire. Nothing cleanses like fire. Look at the 19, 119 on, on the side of here. Look at that. 119 on the side of the, the van there. You see lying there the last of scientists, of bankers, of businessmen, the users of the wheel. Does he have the marks? Do you see them? The mark. You see him as we were before the punishment, before we gained grace. Do we use the tools of the wheel as he does? And then there he is in the crucifixion position. They ask him if he has the mark. You getting it now? We're here. It's happening now. Is he of the family? You, they want you as part of the family. The only way to make that happen is the mark. What is the mark? Well... Uh, the movie is pretty clear what the mark is. Mixing the serpent blood with human blood through a needle prick. Convalescent plasma. There's Charlton Heston slash Trump in the dunce cap. Election Day 2016. Hands out. Out. Way out by shoulder, I like to go crucify you, baby. Matter of fact, the yellow brick road, we're off to see the wizard. Hands out, like they're gonna crucify you. When it hit, the older people either died outright or went to the third. The older people died out, went to the third stage fast. Third stage, pretty fast. Well, what about all of you? Why didn't you get it? I don't know. I mean, some of the younger people have a kind of resistance. Young I don't know, people, we just... Young people have resistance. Exactly what's playing out right now, what they want us to believe, is playing out a form of... Uh, hold out. Well, you know, blindness and light, albinism, psychotic illusions, occasional stages of torpor, like with thighs and the things out there. Well, if the Masonic rites are over... How about Richie? Nothing with drugs. It's got to be the serum. Good. The Masonic rites. 
and th they're trying to find a cure to cure the zombies in the film and he says nothing with drugs it's got to be the serum that would be the blood serum couldn't you reconstitute the vaccine it's got to be the serum it's got to be the serum <laughs> you got any idea how many steps it takes to synthesize an antibiotic specific for this bug <laughs> operation warp speed And there she is in the section where you prevent pregnancy from happening, which might be the end result of all this. Uh, we know the track record of Gil Bates, India. Are you starting to see what's really happening here? There can be only one, the Highlander. The family is one. The family is all. The family is all. We have cleansed the world. This, just like in the beginning of the world. Like we were starting all over again in the Garden of Eden. Only this time we don't trust no friggin' snake. You knew I was a snake when you let me in. Then at the end, they sing Ronald McDonald. I got so much pushback on this video, but now it is all becoming very clear who the clown is, who the Joker is. There's the presidential seal. Election day, dunce day. And there's Charlton Heston, the crucifixion position in his own blood that he was going to, quote unquote, cure the world with. Which is exactly what's happening right now. So who is the devil's advocate, the devil's apprentice? Gemini, Janus, Omega Man. Apollo Alpha and the Omega is what Apollo wanted to be. He is the Omega Man. The Orphic Egg. The VC. Chicken eggs that they use to develop VCs is the Orphic Egg. That's how they will insert the serpent into the bloodlines. So, as I said back in March, Pet Goat 2 predicted Trump. Now, let's read about Dunce Day and where it came from and why it is associated with Trump. Now, the reason why Dunce Day fell on November 8th is because that's the day that this ancient philosopher died. November 8th, Dunce Day. And his name was Duns Scotus. Now, here's where things get creepy because Duns, the Duns hat that you saw, 
was also created by Duns Scotus, and he assumed that this hat would concentrate learning, the learning signal through the top of the head of the student. Does this all start to sound familiar? The chakras? Tinfoil hats in the same shape? I mean, could this concentration of energy through the dunce cap have anything to do with 5G Wiz? Let's read about this here. Dunce Day celebrates the term dunce and dunce caps. Today marks the death of medieval scholar Duns Scotus of Duns Scotland. Where's Trump's mom from? Scotland. Clan MacLeod. The Highlander. Remember Trump got together with the guy who wrote the Highlander books? And signed his book and invited him up to his office? That's because Trump's the Highlander. His mother's main name is MacLeod. Clan MacLeod. Dunce Day is all about learning, so let's get right to it and learn about Dunce Caps and the creator of the Dunce Caps. Dun Scotus of Dun Scotland was a medieval scholar. Perceptions of his views range from brilliant to less uh, complimentary. He believed that cone shaped hats increased learning potential. He believed knowledge would flow from the point of the cap down into the head of the wearer, making that person smarter. About all this accomplished over time was a perception of a person wearing a dunce cap to be a dunce. There was a positive side to the use of dunce caps. It motivated the wearer to learn more so he could be rid of the cap. Interesting. Now, you will notice that the word scotus sounds very familiar. What is, what is scotus? Well, SCOTUS is the acronym for Supreme Court of the United States, often shortened to SCOTUS. So what does that have to do with all this? Well, there's a weird Otis reference in iPetco 2. The Lotus. Let me show you that. Now, this lotus opens out of an apple and it hits Obama's feet. And I'm starting to wonder if the lotus really is an acronym for Lady of the United States. Let me show you that in slow motion, how all this hands out here in a pet goat this is crazy now what could that mean what could the lotus lady of the united states rolling at obama's feet really mean i don't know the answer to that is this a reference to michelle obama and what there are rumors about i don't know that but if Scotus is on his hat and Lotus opens out of the apple, I feel like there's a connection there, right? And Obama's hat turns into a graduation cap instead of the dunce hat. And that's because they wanted to solidify this right-left paradigm. They ran Bush as the dunce. Then they have Obama as the scholar, and now they've got Trump as the dunce. You see how they keep flip-flopping back and forth? That is called duality. The right-left paradigm, that's why the, the floor is checkerboard. This is how they keep us in the prison. When will people wake up to this? Those of you that are on this channel know about this. But many, many people do not. Everybody's all hyped up about the election. Trump's got to win. You guys, it's all theater. It's a game. They juxtapose these presidents, interweave them through presidencies on purpose. And this raises the level of hate 
between the two sides to the brink to the precipice you guys don't get it twisted Trump is one of the most intelligent presidents we've ever had he's playing a role he is pretending to be obtuse stupid insensitive bigoted this what this does is it stokes the left and deepens the division between you and I look as many of you know I'm an African American man and I, I growing up I'd always wonder how, how is it that they let these these the worst representation of my race make it to the top these guys with gold chains and gold teeth acting like idiots talking about women's backsides driving in these car you know I was like how wh what's the thought process behind that that's to stoke the hate think of yourself put yourself in like a white person's shoes and you're watching this going wow we better get a handle on this that's scary wow they just say whatever they want wow they don't respect women wow they wouldn't think twice about pulling out of something and taking all my stuff that's what they want you to think that's why they let these black these kinds of black leaders make it to the top do you see what's going on now we've been played as a black race we've been played and again it's the right left paradigm what about black people like me why aren't black people like me like popular and media not myself personally I don't want to be popular but why don't we see that and why when you do see that it's always a person on the right and then they just label you an Uncle Tom why does that have to be that way why can't we have real leaders it's because it's the right left paradigm and you're seeing it play out before your eyes now the lotus flower comes out of the apple this could mean lady of the United States and the division which deepens the, the right left divide divisions between you and I and through that division they will finalize the walls of our prison chaos in the streets unrest and final domination through a an electronic fence driven by 5g whiz crashing of the economy the rollout of the six percent disease we're going to start calling it and Trump was the perfect apprentice. He was the perfect devil's advocate. And that's the show for today. We'll be back on here tomorrow with more. More deep decodes. I've also put together a montage on how we were already talking about CV-19. 19.9 Red Balloons. 19.9 red balloons. I put together all the evidence that we were talking about in 2017. All the way back in 2017. There were about 10 videos I just edited together. I took three hours and I edited it down to an hour. And you will get chills. Because we pretty much said that this was going to happen. It all started and was kicked off by an eclipse that happened in 2017. We knew something wasn't right. Spiritual energy was high. We tried our best to document it. And uh, that will upload probably tonight. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, of course. I'll do a premiere tonight. We could all watch it together. I'll be in the chat with you guys. Then, of course, we will be on tomorrow with another live show at this time this morning. And I think we're going to be covering... A particular fellow that flew on an express plane who is a magician and he decided that he was going to fly in the air like the little boy in La Boulin Rouge which means red balloon he even says it 
fly up into the stratosphere. Mockery. Why is that mockery? Because NASA just did that during the eclipse. Launch this bacteria to see what it would do in the ultraviolet stratosphere over the entire United States eclipse path. And so now we've got this magician, David Blaine, who flew on the airplane and entertained the guests of a certain man by the name of Eggstein. Then, on Monday, I found images of the inside of the house where Eggstein's girlfriend was. We're going to look at that. So, it's going to be a power-packed week, as well as the beginning of next week. I've got all of these live shows already scheduled out into next week. So, we'll get to them, one by one. I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too much information, but that's where everything sits. We're going to go ahead and end the show now. Love each and every one of you. Take care, my